We are in Venice. Venice is lovely. Venice is sublime. Venice is eternal beauty. If there is paradise on earth, it has to be Venice. The city is existing for 1600 years, almost floating on water. 118 canals, 418 bridges, no roads, no cars, only waterways. A fishing village developed into the most beautiful city. Venice is completely built on stilts. 50 feet logs are used for building this. They are sourced from Croatia. Rialto Bridge alone has 11,000 stilts. Till 1797, Venice was an independent maritime republic. It was the greatest seaport and one of the world's oldest tourist and cultural centers. Venice is unique environmentally, architecturally and historically. Venice has been painted, photographed and filmed so many thousand times. The stunning panorama continued to amaze. Beautiful Venetian mansions along the Grand Canal. A permanent exhibition which you can see as you travel in the Vaporetti, the water bus. Exploring the old houses and the maze of lanes and by lanes on foot is a great experience. The old buildings are very charming. The local corporation has kept it remarkably clean. I could not find any litter in the canals or lanes, which is an outstanding achievement. George's Palace and St. Mark's Basilica are the major landmarks. Both are worth visiting. St. Mark's Plaza Beside Doge's Palace is an adorable square and the largest open space where all major outdoor events of Venice are held. The Santa Maria Basilica is also an icon of Venice. the Rialto Bridge. It was the first bridge on the Grand Canal. Very stylishly built with shops flanking the steps.
This bridge was constructed after much hullabaloo. Shops were allotted to dwellers and rentals used for maintenance. Dwellers continue their business from the same shops even today. The sunset from Real 2 is fantastic. Venice is not much of nightlife, but all bistros and restaurants get full, even in the back lanes. You have to make a table reservation, otherwise in peak hours you have to wait endlessly. When the Adriatic Sea rises, Venice gets flooded. It is a problem. To tackle this, Venice is implementing a massive $7 billion project. At three vantage points, it has installed flexible barriers. These are submerged deep in the water and rises only when required to protect the city from flooding. Venice is incomplete without its gondolas. These long wooden boats are a beauty. There are 600 gondolas in Venice, mostly catering to the tourists. Some gondoliers can sing on request. Tourists also hire a musician to play tunes while they cruise through the narrow canals. Many Hollywood films have been shot in Venice. Venetians leave art. There are so many festivals keep happening in the city. The annual regatta, the carnival with fascinating masks. These masks were introduced several centuries ago for commoners to mingle with aristocrats without fear of recognition. It gave common people a sense of freedom and an opportunity to be equal. A visit to Doge's Palace and St. Mark's Basilica is must. Intricate antiques and paintings at both places are a treat to watch. Venice is also the city of Tintoretto, the last of the great painters of Italian Renaissance. His works in the 16th century is spread over many small churches and art museums in the city. The largest painting of Tintoretto is in Doge's Palace. If you get time, see the paintings of Tintoretto.
Murano is a satellite of Venice, famous for its glass industry all over the world. Master craftsmen create artifacts of exceptional beauty in minutes. Such a great precision. Don't miss Murano if you go to Venice. Spend at least half a day and get the vibe. Venice is a place not to be missed. If you are in Europe, make it to Venice. Maybe for a couple of days, but don't miss. Details about trip planning and budget, the best places to see, all are in the description box below. Please read and plan. If you like my vlog, please subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get my videos regularly. Thank you.